your, your, I'm not going to call it optimism because I think you're smarter than that. <laughs> In fact, I know you're smarter than that, but, but you seem full of hope which is not the same thing as optimism. Hope suggests that we do have agency should we choose to use it and use it wisely, obviously. And you remind me in that way of, uh, <laughs> of my younger self when I was um, traveling you know, the world, uh, speaking to Muslims and others about the need for reform in my faith of Islam. And I remember being told by all kinds of people, some well-meaning, some more malevolent, that, um, you know, give it up, Manji. If Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream, you have a pipe dream. You know, uh, violence is baked into Islam. And uh, this may be your way of denying that, in fact, you're an atheist. Um, but better that you come out of the closet now as godless then you know waste your breath and everybody else's on something that simply can't happen and trust me when i say that i took a lot of time to think about those sorts of comments i sat with myself for many an hour uh really you know exposing myself to to questions uh, about whether in fact i do believe why do i believe and so forth but the bottom line is this um, that was, you know, uh, 16, 17, 18 years ago. Today, um, I hear from young Muslims, a whole new generation, and then even the generation after that, who say, you know, I can have conversations like this um, with my parents, with the elders of my community, um, even with theologians because people like you opened the door. And once, once that door is open, it can't be closed. Now, whether I choose as a young Muslim to walk through that door, that, you know, that is my choice to make. But I couldn't walk through it if it wasn't already open. Um, I remember when I was uh, teaching at the University of Southern California uh, round about uh, four years ago, um, I held a, an event called Forbidden Questions about Islam, Forbidden Questions. And the whole point was to invite people's most burning questions uh, that they felt they couldn't turn anywhere else to ask. And at least I would assure them, can't say this for the audience, but I would assure them that they will not be immediately judged for having those questions. Let's get it all out on the table. Not only was that event allowed to proceed, but afterwards, I spent four hours in the atrium of the building engaging with a large group of young Muslim women, almost all of whom wore hijab, okay, the head covering, and who couldn't get enough of this honest discourse. And it, it reminded me that, uh, to, to quote uh, Edmund Burke, uh, and I'll quote him you know, directly, I won't try to sanitize it, no man makes a bigger mistake than he who does nothing because he does only little. Uh-huh. Uh